Hi everyone, so I'm so sorry that I haven't filmed in a super long time. I, I'm sure you don't care, I'm sure you don't mind, but um, yeah, I thought today was the perfect opportunity to start doing some filming um, because we're at something super exciting. Me and Mark are both here. Um, we are at the big festival. Now, we haven't been to a festival in so, so long and especially not camping, um, but today we're here and we're here for the whole weekend and I'm really excited and I thought I would just film it and show you what it's all about because it's like a foodie kind of festival I'm doing some cooking demos um, I'm doing a talk tomorrow and yeah then we're just gonna enjoy ourselves so I thought I'd show you what it's all about right so welcome to our house this is ridiculous we have done festivals we've done music festivals I've done Glastonbury Reading a whole host of other ones um, but and I've, I've stayed in tents, but not one of these. <laughs> so I thought I would show you around. I am absolutely shocked. This is our tent. You can stand up and We're you could- Standing st in the tent. I yeah, but I mean, true. you could go, I mean, this is a, you could, it's ridiculous. We've got a bed. And an the, actual bed. And the bed, yeah, is an actual bed. We've got a little chest over here. I mean, we've also got this, I brought with me my t-shirt, my Nigella t-shirt. Um, we've got, I mean, we've got like rugs and then we've got little, little windows, um, bedside tables, place to hang all my clothes. And like they, we've got a table and chairs and they left us some goodies as well. It's actually quite cool in here. Um, and it's, what's that? I just realised there's like little pockets around. Lots of, ah, oh, lovely. So, <laughs> so we, and we've got like little torches and we've got, what are, what are these called? Ponchos, but it's not gonna rain. So that's good. We've even got some nice little flowers. Um, so yeah, this is our tent and obviously there's no loo in here, but the, the toilet situation and showers and they are ridiculous. They are like nicer than my own toilet bathroom at home um, so very nice I don't know you can't, I'm not sure if you can even hear me but over there lots of uh, music going on it's getting a bit into the evening now um, so we're gonna go out and explore I don't know how much I'll film but we've got like little area like over there like you can see um, and it's like place we can sit and have like I just feel so lucky honestly I feel like the luckiest person to, to be here this and is to like technically your job yeah this is this Which is, is I'm, I'm working I'm, I'm making cookies tomorrow and I'm talking about baking but I'm also here and I'm just the most grateful in the world I've even got my little my little wristband it says chef pass on it uh, which is just super cool I used to have about 20 festival wristbands on my wrist I've since cut them off because I kept them on for far too long um, but I don't think I'll ever want to take this one off very nice colors as well yeah um but yeah we need to go and explore and just have a nice time so hopefully i'll see you i'll get mark maybe to try and film when i'm doing my cooking demo tomorrow as well oh yeah definitely um but yeah we're gonna go and have have a nice time and explore So we've kind of done almost a proper look round, although I think this place is much bigger than I ever thought it would be. It is amazing. It's, it reminds me of Glastonbury on like a, obviously a smaller scale. Um, it's just really, really cool. And it's just so like kid friendly as well. We are enjoying just having a wander. And behind me is actually where I'm going. If you can see that, that's the thing. That's where I'm going to be doing my cooking demo tomorrow. Um, and yeah, it's just, I don't know, I'm, I'm actually just loving it. It's, it's, it's so, so fun. And um, I'm so glad that we decided to come for the weekend because the weather's nice, um, the food looks amazing. The there house is, is nice. <laughs> yeah, our house, house. Yeah, I'd, I'd live there forever, I think. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and there's like really nice drinks and stuff as well, which I haven't we had have, any- We haven't eaten or drunk a single thing. No, we haven't had any food or drink yet, but we will. And. Uh, if we do, we'll, we'll maybe show you what we have, if we remember. But the thing is with this video is that I'm gonna say it right now, um, I'm gonna mean to film loads and then I probably won't. So if I do, then yay. If I don't, I guess it means that I'm having a really good time. Um, but if then that's- If you don't, then I'll have done it. Yeah, 
Mark said he's going to film, yeah. um, so we shall see what he films and how good it is. Yes. No, he's actually he's actually much better at filming than me. Um, but um, yeah, so we're just going to go and have a wander, maybe find some food. Um, I need to post my Instagram. Maybe oh, yeah. I can do well, that here. Post it on hay yeah, I'm gonna, first. I think I will do that. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll speak to you later. Is it morning? What's the time? It's morning for another five minutes. Um, it's day two at Big Festival today. I have got on some new sunglasses that kind of match my hair, kind of don't. I like them. What do you think? <laughs> Mark says he likes them. Like them. Um, so today is my sort of working day. Um, so I have got a cooking demo in about half an hour. Then I've got a book signing and then I'm doing a talk later, like a baking Q&A thing. It's going to be me and Benjamina, who you might remember from the Bake Off um, a few years ago. We're doing that together, um, which should be really, really fun. And then I'm free, I guess, to relax and stuff. But everything that I'm doing today is going to be really good anyway, because just baking some cookies. How's that work? That's that's just, although actually, to be fair, I have to do it in front of a load of people um, and not mess up. And I think... Um, I think you'll be fine. Mark says I'll be fine. I'm quite nervous so because there's, there's like a proper like, like usually I do these things and there's, I don't know, this Mark's the only fil one filming it. We've got like a film crew, like doing, like filming bits, which is actually mad, but oh wow, it's Look gonna be this. fun. What, what's going on over here? This greedy goat, that's it says we have gluten free available. Ooh, that's cool. Sorry to interrupt you. I just like thought that was so, so incredibly uh, uncommon. So there's lots of like small stands in this section. It's like called the Village Green, um, and there's lots of like independenty, like small brands and stuff. Um, but this is a really nice area of the of the festival. Yeah, I really like. Um, so over there, that big stage thing it looks very big. That's where I'm going to be in half an hour, um, and then that that brown sort of TP double thing is where I'm going to be doing stuff later on. Um, so yeah, uh, we are just walking over because I need to go and check that everything's sort of set up properly and ready for me to rock and roll. Um, and I guess I will hand the camera over to Mark because I probably can't film whilst I'm on stage. Anyway, um, we are going to go over to the sort of backstage area now um, so I can set up, sort myself out and yeah, hopefully some people will come and watch. I don't know if they will. I know I know maybe two people who are going to come and watch and Mark. Um, <laughs> To be honest, I'd be better if there was less. Maybe, maybe. No pressure. There's yeah, no, no, no pressure if no one's watching. Then. So, uh, yeah, I need to stop waffling on and go. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. I've got a nice new dress on, nice and colourful, and uh, that's that. See you later. How is everyone today? Are you having fun? Yeah. Good. Oh, I love that energy. Where was that from? <laughs> yes, I love that. Good for you. Uh, I had everyone enjoy yesterday. Sugar Bay was a good one, apparently. Yeah. Human League. Yeah. Could someone sing me a Human League song? Because I don't know if I actually heard it. Oh my god, no way! That's him! Oh, I missed out with you. Okay, oh, I'm definitely saying around for Anne Marie today because I definitely know her songs. But before all of that, we've got a bit of food stuff going on. If you missed Chris Baby just before, it was a real cracker. I don't know what Chris was on this morning. Maybe a bit of that tequila, but it was great fun. Now we're going over to more of my side, which is the baking side. Please give it up for the gluten-free queen. It's Becky XL. They said, right, remove gluten from your diet. So I did. I, I shouldn't have at the time because then I couldn't be tested properly for celiac disease, which if anyone here has celiac disease, you know that you have to be eating gluten for quite a long time before you get tested. 
As I said, we have an absolutely incredible lineup this weekend, but today it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Becky XL and Benjamina Abore. <laughs> I get nervous. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi. We will get another mic. And can you give us some inside information as to what it's really like being on the Bake Off? Because <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah, because you, you, you're here saying that you watched it and you thought, yeah, I could do that. I could do this. <laughs> The amount of anxiety that I get watching that show when they're like, you know, like, uh, what's what's the uh, the technical one where yeah. they don't know what they're going to make? And I'm just like, if I had to pull off a tea towel and there was like three notes on a, on a recipe, <laughs> just can you go and make a, I don't know, like a cream packed with whatever, like macarons or whatever, and I'll be like... What? <laughs> I don't know how to do this. No, it was it was such a good experience. I think if any, I always saw anyone, even if you're just thinking about it, just do it. I had so much fun, and it is very intense. Like, don't get me wrong, it was super challenging. It was tough. It was practicing every single evening after work, and just constantly in Sainsbury's all the time, buying butter, buying eggs, <laughs> like just that non-stop cycle of practice, 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 practice. So it was super intense, but. When you're they're like the first time you go into the tent and you get to meet the other bakers and you're like you're in somewhere that you've been watching on TV for years, it's it's super surreal. Um, so a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, yeah, had a great time and you learn a lot in a very short space of time. Oh, is it started? So I'm done. I've actually finished all my like things that I had to do. So my talk, my book signing, which was the most crazy experience it was like over an hour long I, I understand that a bit more when I go to things like the allergy and free from show because everyone's there for gluten free and stuff but when you come to something like this I'm like surely there'll be nobody but there were so many people it was it was so lovely I loved getting to chat so long with everyone and just having a nice time and my cooking demo went well I think did you put some stuff in there oh yes I did okay so Mark says he's, he's he filmed some bits he, he was on the floor filming. Will <laughs> I'll be I'll be checking the footage back to see if he actually looks like he was on the floor filming. We will see. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm now sort of free. I'm a free spirit, being able to do whatever I want. I've also got this lovely um, what's it called? A flowery band thing, flower crown, flower crown um, that someone who uh, follows me and is gluten free and stuff gave me because I I'm bumped into her last night randomly um, and I said I liked it and so she got me one as well which is very nice um, so if you're watching thank you very much that's very very kind uh, so yeah we're just gonna go and go for a wander I think there's some people doing some cooking demos like Benjamina's cooking demos coming up so we might go and watch that um, and yeah there's I mean there's some good music on today as well to be fair there's Sam Ryder's on later um, and Anne-Marie I they're the two that I know. I think watching Sam Ryder could be quite cool. So might go and do that, but then might not. I don't know what we're gonna do. Just gonna enjoy some sun, sun enjoy some sunny weather. And uh, I can't talk anymore because I've been talking far too much. Um, but yeah, I'm just really happy that what I've done is done. I think it went well. And um, I'm just now very, very hot, but very happy. <laughs> If you haven't been before, I totally recommend it. We haven't done festivals in a very long time, but I would love to come back here. If you've got kids, it seems like the most amazing place to bring kids. Um, so you can go to a festival and still have kids here. Um, it just is a really, really nice vibe and everyone's really friendly. So uh, yeah.
last day of Big Beast today, and we are just relaxing, getting like hiding from the sun. Um, and trying. We, yeah, trying. Um, I'm still very hot. As you can see, my hair's tied up because I'm so hot. Um, and we're just going to watch uh, a cooking demo, and it's by Fitwaffle. So, um, yeah, it's going to be really good, I think. I'm really, really excited. And I can't wait to see how she does. So, it's a bit of a sad moment, I must admit. Um, we are leaving Big Feastable in a minute, which actually is a shame because in the background you probably can't hear it, but the Future Heads playing, who I really, really like, but we need to go home. And also, um, I have just done another radio interview. I had to do it in the car because I didn't know where to do it that would be super quiet. And I didn't have the aircon on because I wanted it to be quiet. And um, I literally, oh my God, the biggest sweat fest ever. It was, it was awful. The radio interview was good, but the sweating was not good. But that's all done now. Um, so we are going to head home. And uh, I think we're both pretty sad about it because it's been really, really fun. Um, it's just been so nice. Like, and I would really, really, really like to come back. So, and I'd like to come back and do some cooking and do it all over again next year. So fingers crossed, maybe, maybe I will, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been, it's been lovely. And um, if you were, if you were thinking about something like Big Festival or another festival or something, I'd really, really recommend it. It's, it's actually the best thing I've been to in a very very long time. So yeah, we need to get in the car now, do uh, probably about a three hour drive home and I'll see you when we get home. <laughs> Hello everyone, you find me and Mark in Tesco today. We are in Tesco and we have just, we didn't come in here for this but obviously I knew it was here. Um, but we have found, let me put myself behind, there I am, there I am, <laughs> on a book. Crazy isn't it? Well not just on any book, on my own book. Um, it's in Tesco at the moment, it's only £10. Um, so if you haven't got it yet, it's a good place to get it. So you can find it in Tesco, it's also in Sainsbury's, it's also in Waitrose, and any good bookstore. And also, I just had to show you this. This is the Sunday Times Culture Magazine, um, which comes with the Sunday Times, September the 4th. It's my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. If you open it up to the book section, you'll see that you've got all the Sunday Times bestsellers. And here, who's number one? Me! My name! I'm number one! Look, Woo! number number one! Whoop, whoop, whoop! So yeah, uh, Quick and Easy Gluten Free is number one. Sunday Times bestseller, number one. That's crazy. That's awesome. Um, and that's just thanks to probably lots of you guys who are part of this number here who have um, bought the book. So thank you so much for making this possible. Really hope you're enjoying it. And if you haven't, we'll link it below. Um, so that you can get your own copy and be part of the, the quick and easy gluten-free crew with me, Becky XL. Yeah! The dog is very tired. The dog is very tired, aren't you? But I'm here to film you, which what? is quite, you're in quite a good position actually. Oh. So this is a big festival t-shirt, which we had to buy because we were there. Yes. And obviously, uh... Shall I not move? No, well, obviously that would be convenient for me. Okay. Um... These are the people there. We've got Human League, Sugar Babes, Anne Marie, Stereophonics. I think we we left about at this point sometime. <laughs> we missed the bit on Sunday. But under Chefs and Feasting, we have got Becky Excel. She's wearing a t shirt with her own name on it. How sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, got, never, it's never going to happen again. Got Benjamina. And I think we've got DJ Barbecue and Fit Waffle. Who we all saw We've got there. Rav. Rav's on there. She's got yep. her name in... Oh, book, what, Rav's yeah. like a headliner. Yeah. Blimey. Headliner food. There's loads of cool people on there. Um, That's so cool. But I'm on there too, with loads of cool people. I'm oh, not cool, but... I've got, a lot of, I've got a lot of her books. Whose books? Chinky Huang. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Let's have a look at the front. Ta-da! Ah! You know <laughs> I always fell over. Also, has anyone else got loads of gnat bites and stuff this year? Goodness me. I'm just like covered in bites. I don't... You've turned a really nice moment into something like a kind of a doctor's appointment. Yeah, it's really annoying. I'm just like covered in like itchy... It's not pleasant, is it? Mm, no. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, I've just been to see my dad because it's his birthday, as I said earlier. And now I'm going to watch the football. So yeah, I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> 